So by now you should have a basic understanding of how React works, how you can create components, how you can use JSX, and um, how you can use the props in the states. L let's now use uh, what we have learned and try and create uh, a part of the application. It means let's just um, try and use our existing knowledge and create something out of it. So here is an example of our leaders board that we all are familiar with. So it has um, the name of the member, name of the student, then the university name and their scores. So let's try, let's try and actually build this out. So the first thing we should actually try and analyze when creating such um, sort of an application is that um, how we can actually um, like, if you actually uh, look at this uh, part of the page, you can clearly see um, different components over here. So for example, this is your header and this could be the heading of the page. Then there, these are uh, your students which are continuously repeating and um, the name of the universities are continuously changing and uh, we have the scores but um, we should actually try and see that there are certain uh, elements which are very much in common like for example everyone is a student everyone has a uh, university and every one of them has a score so rather than creating separate components we can actually just create a one component and then um, just uh, use the props and the states to change and uh, to change these values. So let's try and actually build this. So in the component, so we have a blank app. Uh, let me try and uh, bring it in parallel. So let's do this. Oh, okay, and okay, so this looks fine. I'll just close this for now, and I will actually. Okay, this looks fine. Okay, let's test whether it's running or not. Um, okay, so it's running, so that's great. Uh, we'll ignore all of this and we'll create a new component called as student right? and in the student we can reference from our existing component class and we can go to st students okay and in the students we can actually let me just rename everything first student 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 so all good with it let's try uh, let's try and bring it over here import student from uh, components slash student okay and if we try and use student over here so we have the student as an output that's great now the next thing is that um, to create the layout the one that uh, I showed you initially let's try and go and build that um, so we will actually oops okay so you will open up a div within our div we can actually have so we had two things over here on the left was um, the name and the university name a while on the right there was scores so let's just a class name left okay then on the right we have if class name right that'd be the score uh, within it we had um, let's do let's make it h2 um, name let's take my name for example and let's have a university name could be a element let's make it university okay now within it I will have um, score for example so I'll create a div call it a score and we'll give some score to myself for now it's a dummy one 
uh within each one of them i'll do one more thing i'll give it a student name and this is a university name so university name okay now let's save it so it's saved so we have um, all the three stuff that we need now obviously we will need to um, use some sort of styling to actually make it a bit better uh, we earlier learned how we can actually use the style sheet so let's just um, use that method I can create another style sheet over here I'll call it student dot CSS for example and within it I'm going to actually just replicate the method and we'll call it, I'll uh, import the student.css from over here. And then I'll try and actually now write the CSS for it. Uh, one more thing I want to do it. I want to wrap the student in a student class. So, because there may be multiple students and we may need spacing for it. So that's the reason I am giving this class a name. Uh, Deva name actually, sorry. So let's take this out. Okay. So I'm going to use the console. Let me just increase the font size a bit. So it's clearly visible how I am doing it and readable. Okay. So we have a student um, as a class. We'll actually give it width 700 and make it modern auto. So um that's done uh and then on the left hand side i'm going to make it 60 percent and we'll vertically align middle okay and on the right it's going to be width 40 percent plain line block and i'm going to make it vertically aligned middle as well so you can al already see that we have some sort of alignment over there then in the student name uh because it's h2 we have this, some margin and pre-default padding so i'll just make it zero zero for now okay and similarly we have issues with the paragraph even so i'm gonna make it Okay, I want everything on the left hand side to be aligned to left hand side. So text align left and I want everything on the right hand side to be aligned to the right. So that's being done. Let's try and see. Okay. And because I have a I have zoomed in 150%, so that's the reason. Um if I actually zoom it back to 100%, it, you will see it, it's in the center. But for your visuals, I have actually zoomed it a bit. Now, over here, it's 350. I'm gonna go in and increase the score font size to be 22 pixels. Let's try and see how it looks. Looks increasing more. Okay, fine. Hit board. Let's make it... Uh, maybe green color okay that's fine uh so now i guess more or less we have our style sheet ready just one more thing in the student uh wrapper or dev we are going to actually do one more thing i'm gonna add margin bottom 20 pixels margin top 10 pixels in fact a bit more Now what I'll do it is I'll go over here, we'll copy all this and we'll actually go to my style sheet, paste it here. So one has obvious, once I refresh, I am actually seeing it a similar layer. So my style sheet is ready. Now the next step is me, obviously we will have more than one student. So maybe we can have 10 students right now. The values are all same, which is my name. Now let's use actually props over here. So I'll just revert it back to one. And name 
would be first one name would be John Doe and university could be uh, let's say any university easy one for me then scores could be um, 349 let's suppose and um, another one could be quiz one could be um, nust okay and next one could be myself um um oh, the flyer and we can reduce the score a bit okay so we now have three students but obviously we haven't used the props over here in the student style sheet so now we're gonna use that um let's just do that since it's uh it's a class component so we're gonna use this dot props dot name and for the university we had this dot props dot university okay for the score we can go for dot score now if we actually look at it okay scores are not coming let's see why uh scores oh i had an s over there so i'll just make it score 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 so that should make it so we now have the scores 349 349 maybe make it uh 347 345 and 340 for example so that's being done so that's good now we want some sort of a heading at the top uh within it so we can have an h1 uh, and class name we can say readers board heading for example and we will say leaders board okay now obviously the heading will appear over here but since uh or we can do one more thing we can just go to app.css otherwise i was thinking to import the style sheet dot uh, student dot css over here but anyways the better is to actually use the style sheet which is present uh but it doesn't look that bad um so we can actually uh if you want to we can do that but i think it's more or less fine so let's just keep it like that it's fine it's good um next thing is okay so we almost got our leaders board ready right um then maybe maybe uh what about having um like giving admin some rights so for example this could be your view or that this could be the student view that they're just uh reviewing the scores but at the back end maybe admin have more rights like there could be a plus button which when they click and if the score actually crosses 350 then uh, this one over here says success and maybe in a similar way the admin want to decrease the score for abc reasons or whatever reason and then the if let's suppose it's less than 300 now um, and then it says fail so some sort of, uh, I mean, you definitely want to actually um, try have these sort of features in the leaders board, especially for the admin. So let's try and actually build one. What we'll do it is uh, we're going to have a plus button over here. And in the plus, when we'll actually click the plus button and then the score will increase. And when the score will increase, if it crosses 350, I'm going to, I'm going to have a success written over here. So let's see how we can do that. Um, obviously, um, since it's a component and this value is changing, we cannot do it from the props. So we need to use over here states. So to do that, we go to students and we first create a button. So inside it, I'm going to add a button. Um, we'll say just a plus and we'll give class name um add score button that'd be better i do that let's see what happens 
uh, we have plus buttons for everyone. Um, we're gonna actually now apply some CSS to it. So mm, I want this to be no border, background to be red, and color to be white, border radius to be with pixel in fact. 20 pixel height 20 pixels mm, looks fine but, but maybe this is a little bit bigger than expected let's try and reduce it okay okay mm. look good okay better it looks good. I uh, I need to go back to the settings. So, I think I want to make it in better, but right now since I have a zoomed in version, so it's pretty odd. But I'm just going to make it look better. Okay, so we have this done. I'm gonna place it in the student.css. So this is done. When I click right now over here, nothing happens. I'm going to have a cursor pointer. <clears throat> oh, okay. So cursor is changing. If you want to have uh, add some hover effect, so you can background. Um, I'm going to change it to black or maybe green color. Okay, it's changing, it's changing. Great. Now. Uh, when I uh, press this button, nothing happens, but I want the score to increase. So now we'll go into the student's component and we will obviously uh, write a function <clears throat> which will, on click, we are going to create an arrow function and within it, this dot um, add score. So we do that. And we create a function over here, add score. So this is good. But obviously, um, to change um, this property's value, uh, obviously, we cannot uh, modify the property's value, I mean to say. So we will need to use over here the state. So let's try and create a constructor first. Mm -hmm. So Okay, then super, then this dot state object score. We initialize, I'll show you some errors in fact, uh, that'd be better. So this dot props dot, so normal scenario would be like, I want to use it this way. This dot props dot <clears throat> um, score, that is what's coming, right? Initialize it with that value and change it over here to this dot state dot score which is referring to this one now if i do that let's see what happens cannot read the property score of undefined yeah so basically uh, it's more over the rendering issues means um props value let's suppose comes later or something like that actually so we need to use over here the life cycles. We, though we will discuss this later on, but um, I think for now you should just um, stand like this, uh, take it as like this part of the code runs uh, before. So for example, if you want to um, set the score, set the state, we can actually use component, uh, component did mount, mount actually. So we'll initialize it with the zero and over here we'll first so as the page loads what it will do it is it's going to set the state over here it's not that complex it's just uh, for example we, if we want to set the uh, scores via via some api so we're going to write the api code over here and we're going to fetch that and set the state value so it's something like that so now we will actually have score this dot props dot um, score okay once we do that and we go back to over here it's all perfect so the scores are coming so our problem is solved now 
obviously uh, we had this button when we were clicking we actually needed to change the state uh, of i needed to change the score state right so the normal scenario will be like set score of set state uh equals to sorry uh, okay that's fine and over here score colon this dot state dot score plus one now something interesting will happen i know the mistake what i have done so i i just wanted to actually highlight that's why um that's why i'm actually doing this so for example if i do this why is this happening well it's considering the score as a string reason being if you go to app.js we're passing it as a string so we but we need to pass it as expression so we'll change it and i won't change the values uh, these two values for now and you should see the behavior start working haven't haven't so we'll obviously need to change it to expression. So we we'll take it as a numeric value. <clears throat> and so that is done. Our scores are updating. Now my challenge was that, okay, so this is part one cleared. Now the next challenge was to obviously, once I reach a certain value, like 350, I want to have a, uh, a message over here which says success like you are a successful candidate for example so to do that we will need to obviously have another state one being initially let's suppose the person is unsuccessful we are considering that all the values are uh, less than 350 though we should actually check over here the current score and then map it but for now let's assume that all the values are less than 350 and we say success no we, we are marking everyone to be unsuccessful at the start and we are not even checking over here now somehow when the values are changed are greater than 350 we need to make the success value change to true which is set the state to true and then obviously do some magic over here to show some uh, sort of a div which says which has a statement written is as success. Now, earlier I have shown you that um, we have a callback function over here that we can write. So we'll do that. Uh, let's just create this. So within that um, add score, uh, when we are setting up the states, we need to create an arrow function, callback function in short. And we will, if this dot state dot um, score, uh it's let's suppose greater than equals to 350 then we actually change the state set state and now we make uh this success to be true now our state uh, will change whenever the uh, value of 350 is reached for that component so for example if John Doe reaches 350, this state becomes success. Now, uh, success becomes true actually, in short. Now we need to do some sort of a magic over here that uh, somehow it shows um, the success me message over here. To do that, what we will do it is, we go before the return statement, we are going to check this um, state condition in short. So we will declare our constant and ch check is success uh, equals to this dot state dot um, success and um, we can declare our text I'll tell you why later on so if is success means if um, the value coming over here in the state um, is it's true which is this case then what happens is that it will return text is equals to so we'll return some text span and we'll call it success. Now, the other case would be that if it's not, if it's false, like in the first case, it will be false. It will just be blank. Like uh, you can say it be completely blank. 
no spans, nothing will be returned. Now, how you can use this? That's uh, very normal. That's super easy. Within, I wanted the message to appear over here. So I'll just go in like expression. I'm going to use this. And it's super easy to um, use this within text. Um, so now if I refresh and let's see what happens, the message comes success. Now, they know, I mean, it's uh, super easy just to apply any CSS to uh, spend. So we are going to make it green, color white, line height 22 pixels, text transform for case, font size 12 pixels, font weight 4. Uh, we'll add a little bit of padding. And we will add a bit of borders as well. So let's see how it looks. Okay, looks uh, good. Okay. So we will copy this and we'll paste it over here. Okay, so let it refresh. Now, whenever that value is reached, 350, the success will appear for anyone. So, so in short, we have given an admin a feature that they can uh, manipulate the values. They can actually increment the scores if they want to. Now, your challenge should be that you should be able to create another uh, uh, function over here, which is decrement. Means I want to reduce the values from uh, so whatever is the current state, I want to reduce the value and decrement the value. So one by one, like three, if I press the minus sign, then it should be 349. Another time it should be 348 like that. And then, so if let's suppose it crosses less than 340, then you mark that person fail. So the message should be fail rather than success. Um, so what you need to do, you will obviously need to create a button and we'll create, need to create a function as well. Um, like add score, you could have a minus score or subtract score. Um, so over here, um, we have this success as a false. You can have over here failure as a false initially, and then obviously render the messages um, in whatever way you want to do it. But I'm sure this is um, doable and as per your learn and as per what you have learned and the next step should be that uh, how you are going to submit this you're going to go to repel.it and within that site create a new repel and call the react create react app give it a name like uh, leaders board so we can call it leaders board and then obviously just copy paste certain uh, values if you are lo working locally or you can directly use this even if you want to and submit the URLs after like just share it publicly. So or invite someone to join link, copy repel, copy repel link. Some You just share this and that should be great. I will look forward for it.